Radio Kiski, soy Marisol e questa sera stiamo bombardando con tutti gli artisti eh, che sono qui intorno a noi e noi siamo intorno a loro perché eh, cioè, non c'è altro che ballare e non c'è altro che goderci questa serata meravigliosa. Un'altra volta ci troviamo al Privilege e nella serata State of Trance, però abbiamo un piccolo bonus perché abbiamo trovato in giro il genio, ma il genio di Eugenius no? of Electronic Music, dell'elettronica e lui è sta con noi è Ferry Carson qui a Radio Kiss Kiss ciao Ferry how are you? I'm very good yeah well thanks very much for being with us sure. we just found you around over here in the hall so yeah. this is great to catch you a little bit are you hanging out in Ibiza? yeah I'm here for an extra day I had my night last night full on ferry and uh, you know tomorrow I'm actually off to Mallorca so got a an extra day and you know oh, that's check, good. checking that's out true. tonight that's yeah. good, good. Yeah. going around with your friends but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I describe you a little bit as a genius of electronic because I nice. have to say that thanks very much for being <laughs> with us yeah I'm very I'm very, very pleased to have you um, exactly uh, when did you start and why did you start with electronic music because there are many many genres that uh, you know there's trance like tonight you know with your colleagues yeah. uh, there's techno like the other mega DJs why did you choose electronic uh, you know, it's ever since, um, I guess, the 80s when I started listening to, you know, all kinds of music and especially the music that was not in the top 40. You know, so there was a radio show in Holland uh, called The Soul Show that I was really you know, intrigued by, let's put it that way, you know, music-wise. It was very different than, uh, than anything else that, that was out there at the time. And, um, uh, you know, that just got me interested in, in that kind of music. And it was the beginning of, like... The first sort of electronic disco and uh, electronic hip hop, you know. So yeah, I was a little kid. I was like 10, 11 years old. Of course, and yeah. so you were just testing everything, you know, all the points, yeah. and then until you found uh, your your trace, your uh, your career, because uh, this is what you do for a living. This is what you do for passion. Yeah. And this is uh, uh, the way that I believe that the people kind of enjoy uh, your inner thing, because uh, this is what you transmit with your music. Exactly. But. Uh, you have uh, worked with uh, um, among or along uh, many important artists uh, around the world uh, and uh, who's, who has been the best experience that you have and, or who you wish to work with? Um, I think out of all the people that I really work with, apart from you know my friends, yeah. you know, the DJs uh, uh, to say, <laughs> it's you know, your Ch Chester and Armin and people like that, Marcus, uh, it, it's actually, it's, uh, I think for me it was really morbid. Um, you know, I, I did my uh, my remix for Adagio for Strings, yes. you know, back in 2000, uh, 2000 actually. And, um, you know, we've been in, in, in touch ever since and it's just, you know, it's been really nice working with him on, on other stuff and things like that. So, um, you know, he's a very bright mind in, in the music industry anyway. And, um, yeah, the, it's, it's nice working with him, yeah. What about your releases? Which was, ha which has been the one that has really touched you? You know, of your own productions. My own productions. Oh wow! Um, there's a track. There's one track that I did it's called uh, "Sweet Sorrow." It's a. Uh, it's sort of like a very heavy, emotional sort of trance track. Um, but it's not the standard like. You know, boom, boom, yeah, it has a bit of a broken beat, and it's uh, the the melody is very melancholic. You know, it's, it's melancholy. So melancholy. There you go. <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's one of my favorites, my my personal favorites. Your absolutely. Personal yeah. Favorites, uh, yeah. Uh, what about Italy? Have you ever been spinning in Italy, or do you have any plans to come next uh, soon? I've been to Milan a few times now. Uh, was it? Is it uh, Am Amnesia in Amnesia. Milan? Okay. Yeah. Uh, last summer I played in Rome, which was cool, and. Um, Wow, where I played in uh, close to Turin, I think I did once. So you know, it's, it's, I'm not in, in in Italy often, but but you, you know. enjoy when you go. Yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. yeah. Lately, lately I've been there more often. It's been it's been fun. Yeah, it's a difficult place to go spin. I think you know, Italy. It's a particular situation. Exactly, you know, yeah. now, I don't know how really to find the way in order to all the DJs to come by. But yeah. uh, uh, in any case, uh, what about Ibiza? Ibiza is the center of music probably around the world besides all the conference uh, music that the, the you know festivals and everything in other countries but uh, it's a special for you Ibiza uh, what has given to you or what do you really experience when you come in spin over here well you know when you, when you come here it's um, everybody has the same mindset you know everybody wants to go here to first of all have a great time but also you know really enjoy the music uh, 
in, in Ibiza within 24 hours. I mean, you can see, it's like, almost, if, if you're lucky, you can see all Anything. the DJs on your list yeah. that you want to see, you know, in, in basically one or two days, which is amazing. That makes this place really special. You know, for, so for dance music, oh, of course, there's a whole different side to Ibiza, you know, the quiet side. and uh, In the other side of the island. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> so, you know, you can, you can really choose to be part of it or choose to stay away from it. And that's really what makes it nice. Yeah, this is very nice. Uh, you know, of course, Ibiza has a, every little thing for everybody. All right, Ibiza, how would you describe Ibiza in two words? Because this is, you know, like either crazy or, it's, you know, or, or it's super quiet. So two words, that's it. I think one word. Okay. Ama amazing. Amazing. OK, Ibiza <laughs> yeah, is amazing. Whatever, yeah. Whatever side you choose, you know, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see everything. You can see a lady that, you know, with high heels oh, and yeah. super nice dress. And you can see the girl with the bathing suit at 3 o'clock in the morning dancing around. We know the well, the lady in the high heels and the beautiful dress, you know, you find her sleeping on the, on the sidewalk on the, the next sidewalk. morning. <laughs> exactly. You before saw her, you know, in the all That's like this it, yeah. and then after in the morning it's just like sleeping on the yeah, side well that's such a shame but yeah. this is the this is all that we find yeah. here in Ibiza when is going to be your next gig over here uh in two weeks actually yeah I had mine you know last night and then uh in two weeks is the next one and then I have two more after that so where are you going to be spinning I'm actually at uh, Eden okay. with, with my with my night uh, it's called full on ferry and um yeah it's uh, on a Sunday it's uh and it's been a really good couple of nights so far. Are you inviting us? Next time, when you're in town, okay. come over. Absolutely. All right, <laughs> so we'll go see Ferry Coaster next time in a couple of weeks again at the Eden. But right now we're partying only at Privilege of the State of Trance together with all the boys here that are spinning and making us jump and around, right? Okay. Absolutely. Thanks very much and say hello to our listeners of Radio Kiss Kiss, please. Absolutely. Hey guys, Ferry Coaster here, Radio Kiss Kiss, and uh, hope to see you in Ibiza soon. Perfect. This is Marisol, straight from Ibiza, summer 2012. Thanks very much.